Oh, hello. Hello, there you are. How are you? I'm knackered today. But there you go. Hello, Claire. She said, good afternoon, John and all. How are you, my lovely? Hello, Kim. How are you? Hello, Angela. Margaret. Margaret. Uh, princesses. Hello, John. Roxana. Says, good afternoon, John and everyone. And says, afternoon, John. Hope you had a good morning. Uh, did you not watch, Jan? Oh, it was hectic. Sue says, good afternoon. Tree says, afternoon all. That's Teresa, who's Vayne's mum. Chris says, hello, John. Hi, John. Lin Tuit. Hello, John and everyone. Lorraine says, hello, John and everybody. Sue, good afternoon, John. Good afternoon, Sue. Emily, hello, John and everyone. How are you, Emily? Claire says, plodding on, thanks. Oh, aren't we all? Aren't we all? Sue says, good afternoon. Catherine says, afternoon. Not even good, just afternoon. Now, it's really weird because not everybody's messages come up. We found that out again this week. Sharon, good afternoon. Thanks for the distraction. Making the ear of the dragon lap. Oh, that's quick. Oh, sister. Sorry, trees are sister. Hello, Scylla. Step inside, love. Andrew, shame you were only on for 30 minutes today. That, I was a guest, though, Andrew. I was a guest. Couldn't be on for any longer. Uh, uh, after all, it's still daylight. Yes, I know. Look, let me show you. Look, how beautiful is that? It's a gorgeous day today, isn't it? Oh, Margaret Mini Baby Bell, what's she got to say? Uh, good afternoon, John. Congratulations on success. Thank you very much, Margaret. Veronica says, hi, John. They enter good afternoon. Sorry for... Oh, I don't talk about car issues. I've just come back from Waitrose. My car's making the dreadful noise. Uh, good afternoon, John. Nice to see you again. Thank you, Jacqueline. Sue says, afternoon, John and everyone. Yeah, uh, Andrew, it's a long way to go. Most gets get to... It's not a long way to go. I'm 20 minutes down the road, Andrew. Uh... Uh, no, it's lovely. It's not an estate. It's a cul-de-sac, Van. Cul-de-sac. Uh, Elaine says, hi, John. Susan says, afternoon. Lorraine says, afternoon, John. I make my purchase today. Very excited. Thank you, Lorraine. We'll talk about that in a minute. Fran said, sometimes using emoji or applying to message for it. Oh, uh, Liz. Hi, John. Not much message came up this week, but I'm watching from Liz. Oh, Liz. Emma says, good afternoon. Congratulations on your launch. Thank you. Valerie says, hi, John. Alan says, hi, John. I've just received my 20 metres of wadding. You must have so much wadding in your house. Elaine, side John, everyone. Notification on phone. About to wait for a laptop to find you. Oh, dear. Carol says, afternoon. Attract says, hi, John. You were very professional this morning. I thought you were going to lose it a couple of times. No, I just don't like being the guest, that's all. And I would never lose it. Dawn says, good afternoon. Vayen says, back. oh no, mine's not the battery, mine's the exhaust pipe. Brent says, afternoon all. So pleased to find you got my subscription. I've tried multiple times, but it was, wasn't until 12 o'clock. Oh, crikey. What was going on then, Brenda? Wendy says, hello, John. Kat says, I've missed your big announcement. Tommy, well, Kat, what big announcement? It was, all it was was today. No, no, there was no big announcement. We just sold the subscription on, um... Same street. There wasn't an announcement. It was just, you all knew what I was doing. It wasn't a surprise. Jan says, good afternoon to you all. Mark says, hi, John and everyone else. Hope you're having a great day. Just got back from York. Unsure if I was going to get back in time. Oh, you're very nice. Marina says, greetings. Scotty's got a new cowboy saddle. I need to explain. Scotty is a horse. Uh, oh, I'm surprised he put a, a, a saddle on him. Good afternoon, John. Everyone says, Neve. Joe says, afternoon. John. Margaret says, ho. John, ho. Princess says, is your app ready? No, no, you won't get the app, Princess, until the, the morning, you know, like one minute past midnight or in that section, are on the 5th. So you won't need, to, you can't go to the app yet. It's not ready yet. It won't be ready till the morning of the 5th. Uh, rest later, it's going to be an exciting week. Thank you, everyone, for the opportunity of Threads of Life too. That's more than, oh, being emotional. I guess, well, I was, I was kind of like, I wasn't expecting it to go like that at all. But thank you, Attractor. Carol says, afternoon, John. Many congratulations on your success. Thank you, Paula. Afternoon, John. Lovely to sit down and join your friend, Natta. I'm not going to stay very long today because I'm shattered and I'm hungry because my whole day was turned upside down. I'll tell you in a minute. Uh, Diane says, hi, John. Anne says, hope Fran is OK. I'm glad you're going to do some of her recipes. I'm not doing them. She's going to do them. She's going to come into the kitchen and do them. Hi, John. So proud of you. I'm sure everyone will enjoy Threads of Life. I hope so. Sharon say three-way split papers a touch. Well, I, I had to fight for that. It's supposed to be two-way split paper, isn't it? Um, it's supposed to be two-way split. I just have to tell you something, right? My personal trainer's only I left a little while ago, and I've been really, really busy. So I've put my shirt back on, but I've got my PE kit on underneath. Uh, chat, yeah, so uh, 99 99 is supposed to be a two-way split pay, isn't it? But um, 
yeah, I convinced Scott and Hayley to give me three. It's his calling, been good as gold. Pagan's got one too. These are all horses, by the way. Patricia says, good afternoon. June says, afternoon. All signed up this morning. So excited. Lorraine said, hi, John, everyone. So happy I've actually got a subscription. Looking forward to it. Brian, did you buy yours, Brian, today? Did you treat Liz to one? Uh, Helen, hi, John. Congratulations on the launch. Thank you very much. Julie's in. Julie's there. Uh, how are you, Julie? Everything all right? Uh, Vian, going to buy the description. The show looks good. I only just discovered John Scott's own world.com today. It was a great read. Oh, well, you've been to my website. Uh, yeah, are you going to... Now, Vian, if you buy it from me on the website, you can do directly, or you can buy it from Sewing Street. If you buy it from Sewing Street before midnight, you get on three-way split pay today. Uh, Shirley says, hi, everyone. Hope all's well. Thank you, Shirley Morell. I, I don't know what, Alan, what are you going to do with 70 metres of wadding? Because it's really wide. Hi, John, says Paula. Molly says, congratulations, John. I booked on your offer this morning. I can't wait for the 5th February. Thank you for starting this. We're in great need of showing our love of sewing and life. That's exact, Molly. That's a brilliant one. Daniel, are you watching? That's a good one. We're looking for, like, quotes to put on the website. You see, that's a nice one. Kat says, oh, my gosh, little superstar, threads of life. I need to get the script, subscription sorted. How excited. Get more of your positive stuff. Right, so, Kat, as I was just saying, if you buy it from Sewing Street today before midnight you'll get a three-way split pay. You get three-way split pay. Um, or you can buy it directly from me at threadsoflife.tv. No split pay. Uh, Julie says, afternoon, John. Exciting times ahead. Exhausting times ahead. Uh, hope you like my fruitcake recipe. Have you sent it, Fran? I haven't got it. Where is it? I haven't received it yet. I'm looking for... Oh, right. Anybody who lives near Warrington... I haven't seen... Um, he, uh, uh, Karen from Wigan. I was trying to think of Karen from Warrington then. Uh, I need a baker. I need a fabulous baker to come on the show and do baking for me. Uh, good afternoon, says Carolyn. Congratulations on the new venture. Looks like it's going to be very successful. Can't wait. Thank you. Claudia says, hi, John. Everyone bought my subscription this morning. I bought the subscription for Liz last week. I might watch over her shoulder. No sharing. It's not Netflix, you know. No sharing. Lindsay, hi, John. Oh, excuse me. Bought the subscription yesterday. Happy birthday to me. Can't wait. Thank you, Lindsay. I got your subscription last week, so looking forward to it. Oh, brilliant. Thank you, Mark. Judy from Kyneton. I'm booked in. Looking forward to it. Thank you, Judy. Judy, I never heard back from um, Harry. Uh, Roxana, I see you got Maria from the Old Maid this week. She moved to Plymouth last year. Oh, did she? Yes, she's on with me on uh, Tuesday. Tuesday. June, I'm here, she says. I'm here. Proud, proud of you. Thank you, June, my love. Marina says... Uh, Use yours if yours is uncomfortable in a place. You... Oh, right. If you don't like... Yeah, exactly. Well, why, where are you going, Marina? She says, if you don't... Uh, my saying is, if you... Um, never be anywhere you don't want to be. That's the actual saying. Marina's got, if you're uncomfortable in a place, you're in the wrong place. Yeah, 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 yeah. But what's that got to do with a saddle? Is it because it's an uncomfortable saddle? Uh, Patricia, I bought the subscription off your website earlier. Thank you, Patricia. Uh, sent last week, week before. Oh, where did you send it, Fran? Oh, where, where did you send it? I haven't seen it. Don't send it in here because I won't be to, I don't know how to take things off here and take it off. Hillary, hello, John. Well done this morning. Thank you very much indeed. Maria says, congratulations. Thank you. Shelley, got my subscription today. Thought I'd missed us driving back from Clandid. No, 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 no. There's enough on the website. They've put more on the website, uh, both websites. So I've got it on my website and Sewing Street have got it on the, not my, it's uh, mine and Daniel's, threadsoflife.tv. Or you can go to Sewing Street and get it. But you'll get three-way split pay on Sewing Street. Uh, afternoon, John. What a morning. Exactly, Glenda. I'm knackered. Am I allowed to say that? Oh, Fran. Fran, you sent it to the studio at Threads of Life. We have got it. Daniel's just messaged me going, I've got Fran's recipe. I haven't got access to that email. See, that's Daniel. He does all the administration and everything like that. So we have got it. Daniel's got it. Oh, my bins. What bins? Food and garden. And recycling today. Well, I'll go do that in a minute. Right, OK. Um, Margaret, can you not get the latest? With the yeah, I could, but they're miles away, Margaret. They're in um, here, you know, Warwick. And the studios are in Warrington. So I need somebody local to Warrington, really. Um, Diane, bought my subscription last week. Can't wait. Thank you, Diane. Martin says hello. Marina says nothing. You said you wanted quotes. Oh, no. No quotes of why you bought, of why you bought the... Um, subscription this morning uh congratulations on your new venture thank you donna judy says i think his parents may have intervened didn't want to take oh okay fine that's fine absolutely fine but he needs to learn in future to say 
No, thank you. Thank you for asking, but I'm not going to do it. Fine. Uh, I'll just delete him off Facebook now, I think. Hi, John. Please grab a question. Yesterday, during the first Alice Carolina, you were talking about mixing fabrics, weights and a quilt. Would it be OK to mix uh, Alice Caroline Tana Lawn and Alice Car- Quilt? Right. OK. So yesterday she had a quilt. She, Anna, had a quilt that had a quilting back, fabric background. And then she was appliqueing quilting weight fabric and Tana Lawn on together. That's absolutely fine. All I say is if you're making a quilt where you're making half square triangles, if you use a tarn lawn on one side and a quilting weight on the other side, there's a slight uh, difference in the weight of the fabric and it might make the, 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 the uh, quilt look a little bit lopsided, that's all. That's my view, Lisa. So other people say that's a load of rubbish, John. I mix them all the time. But if you make, so, so just, it depends what, how you're making it, Lisa. If you're making half square triangles or log cabins, I wouldn't mix lawn with because uh, lawns like like parachute silk and quilting weights, that lovely um, crafting weight. Yeah, yeah, no, Fran, we got it, we got it, we got it. Uh, June got her subscription today. Thank you, June, my love. Gillian, hi, John, love your presentation this morning. Got my subscription, can't wait. Thank you, Gillian. She says, maybe contact the WA Kulchef. You right to this, is that, is Daniel? Oh, Daniel, you must be watching. Kulchef. regarding a baker. Oh, okay, Matt, that's a good one, Sue. Daniel will write that down. Sue says, bit late, sorry. Oh, um, yeah, um, Paul, I don't know if you're watching, Pauline. I've got your email. It's just been a bit of a heavy week. Uh, Fran says, few attracts their same street website is showing you. Oh, it shouldn't say sold out. Let me just go. Daniel, Daniel, can you go to the same street website and just see if it's um, saying sold out? Because it shouldn't be saying sold out. It should be on the front page. Oh, actually, I can do it here. What am I talking about? I can do it here. Oh, dear, can't have that. Sewing Street website front page. Uh, let's have a look today. Fence of life. This is good telly for you, isn't it? Oh, um, hang on. So let me go to TV Guide today. John Scott's Threads of Life. No, 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 it's still there. It's still there, Attractor. C-A-O-084. C-A-O-084. So it shouldn't be saying sold out. It's um, Jenny Jackson's cushions are all sold out. Blimey, she had a good show, didn't she? All her cushions are sold out. But my uh, my Threads of Life is still there. C-A-O-084 or 084. Uh, thank goodness for Daniel. Yes, Shirley, in- indeed. Thank goodness for Daniel. Uh, Marina, oh, I didn't get that bit. That's right, Marina. Hi, John. Nice to see you. I bought mine last week. Thank you, Jane. Christine says, I gorgeous. Just finished all, uh, I think that means altering. Bridesmaid's dress and I'm free just in time for you. Congratulations again. Thank you very much. Lynn says, congratulations, John. A great show this morning. Lucky enough to buy my description as well. Vayan said, I missed your spot on the show this morning. I just caught the end. You look like you're ready to cry. I was overwhelmed, Vayan, by the amount of people. I can't tell you. I can't tell you. We sold so many. We sold, There's still some available because Daniel's put more on the website for you. Oh, Paula's just signed up via my channel. Thank you, Paula. Andrew says, how about this for a quote? I like to do my bit to support the elderly. No, Andrew, that won't be going on. I uh, hope everyone used the free P&P code. Yes, exactly. Uh, yeah. And now, you can get free P&P or you could use your voucher. You couldn't use both. Uh, Princess says, you keep freezing. I think mine must be playing up. Linda says, great to hear about your next venture. Bought my subscription without hesitation. Linda, that's a lovely one. Thank you. Lisa says, thank you, I'll stick with Tarn Yeah, you mix Tarn and Lawns as much as you like, but just don't put, uh, unless you're appliquing it on, that's all. Leslie says, bit, con- bit late, congratulations. Thank you, Leslie. Maria, Pinhorn, Dar, John and everyone bought my subscription last week. Thank you, Marie. Uh, Vayne was really happy for me. Thank you very much indeed. Hello, John, I love to see you back from walking my puppy, Nelly. Oh, that sounds nice. I keep losing the feed and comments going all over the place. Oh, Sue, maybe you've got bad weather. Oh, look, Sue, just bought my subscription. Sue, did you get it from Sewing Street or did you buy it direct? Uh, Cheryl, hi, John. I've had a horrific week. Oh, no. Oh, no. I don't know if I like this message. Hang on. Oh, it's a very long one. Uh, Oh, no. Oh, we're sending lots of love to you. Lots of love. Uh, Siev, Siev says, good luck with your new job. It's not a new job, Siev. It's not called a job. Uh, 
A tractor, it says it's available now. No, I've just looked. It is available now. Oh, okay, I'm way behind, don't I? Hello, John, says Anne. Good evening, says Gillian. Rachel says, it's in twice. What's in twice? It's in twice. What, on the website? June, do we know Daniel? Do we have Sound Street? No, you, uh, I don't, you won't know. No, you won't know Daniel. Daniel owns the studios in, um, in fact, June, you'll see him because he's in one of the behind the scenes. He said, oh, I'll just do a quick vignette in one thing. And then 20 minutes later, he's still talking. Uh, so Daniel owns On Air Media, which is the studio. So do you remember I put a film up of me at pay when I was filming at Pavers, right? So he owns On Air Studio, where they film Pavers, they film the Cruise Channel, they film the Collectibles, they film, film all sorts of things like that. And Daniel's history is shopping telly and like daytime telly and things like that. Uh, and he, I don't know what he called himself really. Anyway, so he and I are in partnership for this project. So he does all the technical and the administrative. And do you know what? When you see, I can't, I don't know if I can, no, I can't show it to you now. When you see the website, it's not just a website, you click on something. It's the most all singing, all dancing. You're going to love it. He's made all of that. He's made all of that. Uh, oh, here you go. Oh, there you go. That must be <laughs> This is Daniel here, John Scott's own world. Uh, he's put the link up. He's put the link up. So that's the one for Sewing Street there. The link for Sewing Street he's done there. Patricia says it's on the website twice. First one. Oh, a tractor. It's on the website twice. The first one he's showing is sold out. So they must have put it through on another number afterwards. Go down. Go down the page. Hello, Rachel Towers, says Patricia. Not sold out. I got mine about half an hour ago. Thanks, Gillian. Uh, Sandra Sakalas, it's Sandra Sakalas' birthday today. Happy birthday, Sandra. What are you doing coming in here when you should be sitting, drinking champagne? Uh, I've still got pavers, still got Sewing Street, still doing my WIs. Oh, now, Anne, you sent, you've sent the message to the wrong place. <laughs> Anne sent the message to the messages rather than in here. Uh, okay, it shows sold out at the bottom of the page, but available at the top. There you go. Hello, Thomas. Oh, Thomas, I was in your, uh, round your way. In Earlston, uh, what day did I go for my blood test this week? Was it Monday? I think it was Monday. And you'll be pleased to know these blood tests all came back fantastic as well. So that's two set because um, uh, Jan worries, Jan Barrett worries, you see. So uh, last week's came back per brilliant. They're really happy about last week's. And then this week's were good as well. Hope Jenny gets home okay. She was really tired. Yes, I'm, I was a bit worried. She was really tired when she arrived this morning and emotional. Uh, Fran says, just go show how much we value your presence. Oh, thank you. Sharon says, good luck with your threads of life. I'm sorry I won't be joining you. I don't have a posh telly. Mine runs via Freeview. But best of all, Sharon, you can watch it on your iPad. You can watch it on your phone. You can watch it on your computer. It doesn't have to just be a posh telly. Um, yeah, yeah, there's, there's low. So I, I can't tell you how many there are, but they've got more. They've got more. I'll, what I'll do is I'll, after this, I'll check with Hayley to see how we're doing, and then she might need to put some more on. Oh, uh, Jackie Drew, afternoon, that was a good morning show. And yes, the bag ladies heard you say, badge, you looked overwhelmed at the end. Uh, I was exhausted. I was exhausted, but I am overwhelmed. So yes, there will be a badge. Not yet, not yet, but there will be a badge. Um, or, and also, Jackie, I meant to mess you earlier. So it's Stuart's birthday shows at the beginning of next week. Oh, and I'm saying at the beginning of next week. I think it's... No, it must be the week after. Must be the week after. The 5th and 6th, or somewhere around there, or the 4th, 5th and 6th. He's got a pen. He's given away a pen. And he's tried to outdo me because it's a bigger, brighter pen than mine. So tell your ladies and gentlemen to be ready. Hi, Hi, John. How are you? I'm good. Thank you. Sue says, got mine from Sewing Street. Thank you. Got my subscription last week. So happy. Congratulations, says Hayley. Uh, Margaret says, afternoon. Oh, hello, Margaret. I wonder where you were. Did you fall asleep on the sofa? Oh, now look. What time is it? We could set our watches by the Tesco delivery at Matt and Cassie's, couldn't we? Was Daniel on at Pavers when you showed us round? Um, I don't think Daniel's been on a film yet. Daniel, have you been on a film yet for Pavers? He might have been. That could have been either JJ or Richard, though. Because Richard's the cameraman. Oh, no, actually, Daniel doesn't work on Pavers. Daniel just rents the studio to Pavers. He doesn't actually work on it anymore. He used to. But he uh, he just owns the studio. Hi, John. Thank you so much for the split pay. Ming Tucker by subscription this morning. Love, Paulie Deep Cut. My pleasure, Paula. Uh, yeah, yeah. So the first one, Attractor, the first batch sold out. Then we put more in. They sold out. Now we've put more on. But you need to let me know if that one now says sold out as well. 
How do we see Pay versus our outlet is displayed? Oh, Shelley, it's sad because um, there's no TV channel anymore. What we do at Pavers now is we go in and Sheila, you know, Sheila, the model, she's got the shoes on. I'm sitting on a chair and I might be on my own or with Debbie Paver. And we film them going, oh, what these lovely shoes and they look comfy blah, blah, and all that. And then it goes on the website at the bottom. So if you click on a pair of shoes on the website, oh, look at my hand. Oh, that looks like eczema, doesn't it? Ooh, dear, I've, been, I've been a little bit stressed recently, but anyway. Um, so you can see the little videos at the bottom. Or they've got a YouTube channel. Shelley, if you go to their YouTube channel, Pavers, I presume it's all Pavers Shoes. Never really looked. Uh, go to Pavers and you'll see little shows on there. Shoes, me and Sheila, or Derek with Sheila, or Julie Peasgood with Sheila, and Linda sometimes does modelling. Uh, Vivette says, hello, John, all lovely and bright here today. It's been beautiful here, Yvette, it's still bright. Collectibles and history of haberdashery. What What do you mean, collectibles? Uh, we could do history of haberdashery. We need to get an expert, don't we? Brian, off work this week. Oh, do you still work, Brian? I thought you were just retired. Plenty of sewing on the schedule. I'm watching so. Oh, hang on. Now, is that Liz using Brian's thing? Or is that Brian? Because you don't do sewing, Brian. You do woodworking and organ playing. I signed up on Wednesday, really looking forward to it, says Lynn. Thank you, Brent said, that's why I had trouble getting my subscription. Kept showing us all down. Glad kept trying. Yeah, you got it now. It's there now. Uh, happy birthday. Uh, who are you saying happy birthday to, Sue? Can't see who you're saying happy birthday to. Um, got mine last week on Sunday, but thank you, says Roxanna. June says you must be thrilled at the sponsor. I was overwhelmed. June, I was, at, I mean, we, it was selling well just from my Facebook thing last week, you know what I mean? But absolutely overwhelmed by how many hundreds of people came in. Nay, thousands. Uh, I hope it's not too technical. No, Shirley Morell, so on the night, uh, at midnight, what will happen is at midnight, Daniel will press the button and you'll all get an email, an individual email, obviously, but sometimes some of them will take longer to filter through because now there's thousands of them. It's going to take ages. To, it doesn't have to do them all individually. Um, anyway, so you'll get an email and it'll, it'll say, go to this site, www.threadsoflife.tv, click on here, put your, put your email address in here, put the password that Daniel has sent you in there, and then let you into the site. And then it's easy. If you've got Netflix or Sky, surely you'll be fine and you're rich, you will have. Um, or mind you, old age pensioners get it cheap these days. Um, anyway, and then you, if you want to change your password, I'll tell you how to do that on the live next week. If you want to change your password, there's a page at the end where you can change your password. So you could change it to my password to I'm an old lady, Shirley, or something like that. So it's not technical at all. Uh, hang on. Question. Quilt is massive. So can I use the ironing board to drape it over and then pin? Yeah, I suppose so. But you'd have to start from the middle and work outwards. Don't top to the top. Thomas, I'm good. Thank you very much. Oh, Anne, there you are. And I saw that you'd sent a message to my actual page that came up at the top there. Um, there is a, there is there is a help section, friend. Thank you. He may have a pen, but we have you. Oh, thank you, Jane. But I'll, I'll start working on my birthday show now and see what else. What would you actually? What? Right. OK, two questions. What would you like as your free gift on my birthday show? It's not until June, but I can start planning it now, can't I? And um, we're already doing an Amber Makes collaboration. We've already started that. Uh, and if we have merchandise, Daniel will have his pen ready. You know the mugs on all the pictures? I haven't got on here, so I can't show you. You know the mugs on the pictures? Everybody, but everybody's been asking about those. Will we sell them? At the moment, there's nowhere on the site to have a shop. So we're trying to work out how we'll do it. And we're not selling fabric. We're not selling haberdashery. We're not going up against Sewing Street at all. We're not a shopping channel. But we will have merchandise. So we've got the mugs. We'll get the mugs. We'll get the badges sorted out. Uh, is there anything else that you'd like? What other merchandise would you like to see for Threads of Life? Let me know. Afternoon. Sorry, missed you this morning. Kim, did you get your subscription? Have you got your subscription, Kim? Oh, that's two Kims, one after the other. That was Kim Bowers. Then Kim Fleming says, I never did get your birthday pen. I did find the call centre, but they said there are no more. Uh, there were two pens. There was a huge cock up on the first one, wasn't it? And they only ordered 900 and they'd gone by the end of their eight o'clock hour. Then the next birthday was the one where there was a little back. There were a few in the middle that were broken and then everyone else's was fine. But just uh, what? talk to Jackie. Talk to Jackie Druitt. 
because she's got the collect the collectors, the badge and pen collectors and pin cushions, not pin cushions, what's those things? Fridge magnets, fridge magnets. Uh, Annette Jasper, how are, now Annette, how are you feeling? Because you weren't very well last week. But then I did see that you were in that Greek restaurant in Bourneville this week, weren't you? See, not much goes past my nose. Sue says, well done, John. You worked so hard for this. Let's not forget that. Oh, thank you, Sue. That's really sweet of you. Sorry, late. Congratulations on your fab show. Thank you, Joanne. Christine, I just love all you do so much, John Scott. And I love the idea of learning more from you and your skills and knowledge. And Well, I'm not giving you any knowledge. It's all the experts that are giving them knowledge. A badge and a pen for us collectors. No, hang on. Oh, yeah. Well, hang on. Oh, you want a badge and a pen? So, Daniel, badge, pen. Gary says hi. Oh, he'll be doing, he'll be working out in his gym, won't he? Your younger toy boy. No, Fran, nobody's got the pen yet. Stuart's got it on his birthday shows. He's got a pen as his free gift on his birthday shows. Margaret said no. Not had a map. Been watching old episodes. Oh, nap, nap, nap. Been watching old episodes of Same Quarter with you and Mandy. Oh, dear. Uh, Margaret says Stuart Hillard on his actual birthday show. Yeah, exactly. Alicia, afternoon, John. So pleased you to enter life on Split Pay. Looking forward to 5th February. Thank you. Sharon said thousands. Vic said atop. Yes, exactly. Exactly. I wasn't going to tell you. I was going to be modest. But yeah, it's in the four figures. Susan says, hi, John, you're overwhelmed. Oh, I was, Sue. I was really overwhelmed by the amount of people. Do you know what? I thought, oh, I know. about. Well, Daniel thought 200 would go. And I thought 120 would go. We didn't think we'd go into four figures at all. Didn't think we'd need to keep adding it, adding it, adding it. Oh, look, Jacqueline likes watching the paper little films. Jacqueline, if you go to the YouTube channel, they've got half hour, half hour programs on there. Still selling shoes, but with, there's half hour programs on there. How will we know when you're planning a live show on your Threads of Life? There will be so much. It won't, we won't just surprise you. The one on the fifth is live at two o'clock. Two o'clock on the 5th is live. Um, but when we're doing live shows, you will get, you'll get regular emails. You'll get an email every time a new show goes up. But also there's a page that says calendar. And I'm sure Daniel will put in the calendar live show this day. And you can look forward like two months and things. That's how you'll know. Sandra's over the moon. Don't know why you're so surprised that we sponsor from everyone. Now you know how much people love you. Oh, thank you, Sandra. But it's that weird thing, isn't it, of selling yourself. You kind of think, anyway. Um, you know, I might be bold and brash and everything, but underneath I'm quite shy and whatever. I'd like to see Helen McCook. Now, it's really funny, June, because I did a show with Helen McCook on Sewing Street last week. And I sent her a message going, oh, thank you for a lovely show. I must come and see you. To do she's not replied. She's not replied. And she's read it. I've seen that she's read it. So I don't know if I've upset her. I don't know if she's upset because we've got another embroidery. And we've got a gold worker person on coming on this week. Signed up, Sandra Sinclair. And that's cut. Hang on. Signed up. Had to contact customer service. We tried all morning. But it's sorted now. As long as it's sorted, Sandra. If you're doing a live, does that mean you won't do it? No. Right. So, Sharon, I will definitely, definitely, whenever I can, I'll do this. But obviously, if I'm off looking, not looking after Francesca's, but if I'm at Francesca's or I've got to go off to do something or I'm working in the afternoon, then I won't do it. But I'll still be doing these. But you see, these, excuse me, these are open to everyone. Any anyone can log into these because my the page this comes from is completely open a business page, but they the ones on the website will be uh, completely exclusive and they won't be on YouTube and they won't be on Facebook. They'll be on the site. And I'm presuming I need to ask Daniel this. I'm presuming that if you can't be there live because it'll be the same as this, you can still message in and everything. Um, but I'm presuming it'll be saved somewhere. I'll have to I'll have to ask Daniel about that one. Uh, but I'll still be doing these, don't worry. John, I signed up this morning, thank you. What do we need to do to access the site when I get a welcome? I know it's not open for another week. No, so you'll get an email, Margaret. This is Margaret Mini Baby Bell, just down the... Oh, actually, you should have round the corner to Vix. You can get Vix come round, set up for you, because she was doing all the casting onto the telly today, wasn't she? Um, you'll get an email in the morning. So the morning can be any time from midnight onwards, on the morning of the 5th of February... It, on the email, it will say, go to this website, www.threadsoflife.tv. You click, go to the website and there'll be a box saying sign in. And you put your email address and then you put the password that Daniel has sent you. Don't lose that password because you need that password when you sign in. Um, and then once you're in there, it'll just open up 
Oh, it's brilliant. I can't tell you how brilliant it is. I mean, every, other people will be able to go and, and so if you have people haven't signed up, they can still go to www.threadsoflife.tv and they'll be shown a little film of what it's about and they'll be shown how to buy it and a few other bits and bobs like teasers, but they won't be able to watch anything else at all. It's really easy, Margaret. Now I've got a quick, I've got to tell you this as well. One of the questions that came in today, which I missed was, will I be able to sign in on different machines you know like i've got an ipad i've got a computer i've got a phone if i want to do the app yes you can sign in on all those but what you can't do is you can't watch it on two machines at the same time because this is when people then share the the d you know we don't want any of that so what it is like netflix right so if you're on it on your ipad you can't then say to someone oh log in on your phone or log in on your thing because that doesn't work you can only log in one device at a time. I like that. And we can see. We can see if anyone's sharing their thing is, so we'll know. Uh, how many subscribers have you got so far? They, I couldn't tell you, but it's thousands now. It's thousands. Daniel's got the figures. Uh, yes, Anne, you can still sign. Right, now, Anne, there's two ways of signing up. You can either go now to threadsoflife.tv. Now, you need to go to .tv because .com takes you to a shop in Bali. Look, I said I wasn't staying very long. It's 29 already. Or you can go to the so and you pay your ninety nine pounds and ninety nine pence there. Or you can go to the Sewing Street website. Now it's on twice. One of them says sold out. The other one doesn't. But you can get that free split pay, three way split pay. So you can pay thirty three thirty three today or midnight tonight. Thirty three thirty three in February and thirty three thirty three in March, and that's it paid for. Do you remember? Remember ninety nine pounds and ninety nine pence makes it less than two pounds a week. And you're going to get at least three shows a week coming up onto your thing. And you can what you can, you can what they, they don't then get taken off. Do you know what? I videoed um, now Voyager and it's just as well. Well, I was going to say, um, I have got it. Margaret sent it to me on CD, but I haven't got a CD player anymore. But um, now Voyager and All About Eve are in my sky boxes. You're all about, they, now Voyager once disappeared. Don't know where it's gone. Anyway, so Anne, you can either go to my web, the threadsoflife.tv website or you can go to the, or if you've got the newsletter, did you get my newsletter this week? There's a link on there as well. Um, or you can go to Sewing Street and get three-way split pay. But do it before midnight. Do it before midnight. That's all I'm saying. Uh, Sandy Shacks will be as normal. Yeah, thank you, Fran. Kim Suleiman. Uh, hi, John. Hope we're all well this week. We are. Thank you. I had a very busy morning this morning, Kim Suleiman. Oh, Kim. Oh, yeah, that's right. I was going to ask you a question, but it's fine. Uh, Sue Johnson, are you planning to have any knitting or crochet experts on the show? Just wondering. Yes. I'm going to try and get Stuart, you know, lovely Stuart from Long Melford. I'm going to try and get him on to do some knitting. Uh, uh, the Winnick mum, you know, the Winnick mum sock, sock lady. She's literally the hotel I used to stay in in Warrington is in Winnick Keys and she lives there. So I'll try and get her in. Um, and there was somebody else. Somebody else was going to come on and do knitting as well. I can't remember it was now. But yes, definitely. The thing is, we've got a whole year. So don't panic if it's not on in the first month. We will get round to all those different crafts. Uh, that's all right, Fran. Zena. Hello, Zena. First time here. How are you, my lovely? Shirley Morelli, cheeky things. Good job, I'm a lady. Blimey. What's this? Oh, here we go. Now, Sharon would like a mug. Margaret would like... John, thanks for the answer before you got to my question. Oh, <laughs> that's all right. Kim said mug or badge. Catherine said just signed up for your subscription. Or did, it, oh, did you get the 680 plus? It's brilliant. Oh, you'll love it, Catherine. Uh, tote bag, Kim. Oh, Kim says tote bag. Fridge magnet, uh, says Adrienne. Key ring, says Yvette. Vayan says a blank check. No, I'm sorry, we don't do those. Julie says looking forward to next Monday. Wishing you all the best with it. Thank you very much indeed, Julie. Uh, good quality tote bag, says Andrew. Pr uh, Threads of Life Crafters Apron. Well, maybe we'll get one of the um, guests to design it. Storage. Oh, now, now storage might be getting a bit much because we'd have to find somewhere. We, I'm only talking about like merchandise, not big storage boxes or anything like that. Because then I'd be going in competition to Sewing Street and I don't want to do that. A notebook. Oh, that's a, Jacqueline. That's a nice one with a Threads of Life um, thing on the front. And a picture of me on the back. Uh, Sue says, Miss Sewing Street this morning as I was working. Just secured my subscription. Oh, did you get it from the website, Sue? That's good. She got the three pin cushion, as we could all have your lovely face with pins in it. Oh, that's not very nice, Jackie. Sewing your pins in like that. Uh, birthday free gift, a mini kit of some sort. Key fob, sewing needle, soft case, no needles. Margaret, John Scotty. 
are you, you are local to Warrington in Colchester. Oh, hang on, Margaret. You are, you are not, are you? You are local to Warrington in Colchester. Is black sheep wool. So many options there. Okay, Daniel, write that one down. Write that one down. Uh, how about psychic right now, Sue? It's really odd because we had a psychic when we did on the other one and we got more complaints about the psychic than we did. On. Well, it's the only thing we got complaints about. So I wasn't really sure if I was going to do that, even though I love it. Absolutely adore it. I don't know. Well, we'll ask. We'll ask. Who would who'd like to see a psychic on the show? Who would like to see a regular psychic on the show? Yeah. Uh, tea towels, quilting gloves, magnets, says Sh uh, Sharon. Tea towel, panel to make a bag. And uh, the panel to make a bag might, that's again selling and I don't think we can do that. Um, we can sell, but do you know what I mean? I don't want to go up against Sewing Street. T-shirt with threads of life on it. Now, Gillian, when we did it last time, we asked if people wanted T-shirts. Everyone went, no. Don't want a T-shirt. Uh, Mark would like a fridge magnet and a tea towel. China thimble, says Leslie. A fabric weight. Fabric weight, says Diane. Jacqueline says birthday show should be a notebook too. Oh, yes. That might be a bit expensive, Jacqueline, though, because they have to keep it. But I'll write that down. Birthday. Notepad. I hadn't thought of that. Um... Good quality needle threads. Oh, they're very hard to come by, aren't they, Judy? Uh, Jane says Threads of Life t-shirt. Oh, there you go. See more t-shirts. Sewing magnet for parking your needle and cross-stitching. Oh, that's a nice one. Uh, Jacqueline's going to go and look at YouTube for papers. Yeah, do, because they're films on all the time. Um, I'm not sure if mine have actually ever been uploaded. I've seen ones with Derek on, though. He's their favourite, so that's why he's gone there. Uh, love all my paper shoes and Princess Christine. Note, pair, book and pen. Uh, just been seeing the colour purple, watching in the car. Oh, thank you, Jane. Margaret says, a fair starting point might have been numbers equal to option. A fair starting point might have been numbers equal to all options of your book sale. Well, Margaret, I've sent, a, I've sold over 10,000 books in the, in the three different, four different formats. In the hardback, paperback, audible and Kindle, I've sold over 10,000 now. So I didn't expect 10,000 people to come in today. Uh, calendar of dates for the show, that's on the website. Uh, oh, unless it's a... Oh, so you mean a John Scott calendar next Christmas? Because it's it'll be Stuart's turn to do a... Because I've done the last two Christmases, haven't I? So maybe it's Stuart's turn to do one for Sewing Street next Christmas. Maybe I'll do one for you. Uh, but the thing is, you have to promise to buy them because I don't want to have a, a thousand um, calendars in my back cupboard, do I? Be careful, your email service hasn't decided what messages are important to you. Oh, listen, Fran, Dan's on that. Daniel's on that. He does it all the time. He knows that. But I will say, check your junk, because my accountants, who are very strict about email, all my accountants' ones were going to my junk. Uh, it would be nice if when we do see, if when we do the sew along, if we could show them on the site and give a price for the best one. Nice. Nice. We might even do that. We might even have, like, say, a month of toys and you can all send in your toy pictures and then we'll have a competition to see whose is the best. And then one of you can get a Joe Carter kit or something like that at the end of it. Writing that down, Daniel. Uh, signed up this morning to cheer myself up. Sadly, my oh, Carolyn. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sending you lots of love. Uh, Wendy says, sorry, I'm late. Dinner with the daughter made me late. Lunch, you mean, Wendy. Lunch. Not dinner time yet. Lunch. Uh, I would like to see you with Janet Clare. Oh, yeah. Now, Janet Clare lives near Guildford. So when we do the meet the designers, we have to do them in clumps. So only for a financial thing, because obviously it would cost way too much if me and Kat Daniel and Richard drive to Yorkshire one day, Brighton the next day. So when we, we did Brighton and we did, I think, eight or nine of them all in one clump. And then next next month, we're doing lots of designers and people around Stratford-upon-Avon. So we'll do all of those in one clump. So what I need to do is I need to find where Janet Clare is, I need to find at least nine people in her kind of area, eight or nine people in her area, so we can film all of them at the same time. Annette, uh, yeah, been unwell, but not COVID. Managed to get out for my birthday. We go to that Greek cafe every week. Yeah, there was no room this week. I saw you saying you had to, uh, uh, Annette's husband had to stand up. Uh, we came from Cornwall to Birmingham to help our daughter at university. Got my subscription last week. Thank you, Annette. Vayens says, congratulations on the subscribers. You've done amazing. It's been... You must be the only one that got so many subscribers in such a short time. Uh, Van, I was shocked. I was really, really shocked. Fran oh, do you know what, June? Francesca's doing well. Thank you for asking. Um, now, uh, she got accepted this week for immunology. Immun 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 
immunonology. And she's all excited about it. So I texted her, oh, tell me about it. I don't know what it is. All I know is it's something really, really special. So she's doing all right. So last week she was chucking up and everything and she thought it was the chemo. Anyway, it turns out it wasn't the chemo. It was, she had to, she's always suffered ever since I've known her with really, really bad migraines. Migraines that are so bad that she can't even have light in the room and can't have any noise in the house whatsoever. And then, and then she started having Botox in the back of her head here, completely disappeared. But then why did she stop doing that? Anyway, this, so they were, they were, she was being sick because of the migraine. So she's absolutely fine. We're talking, are we going, to, oh, now I haven't told you this. I got an email from Bob Geldof this week, inviting me to like at the press night of, hang on, what's it called? I'll find it here. Um, hang on, where is it? Uh, Bob Geldof. Oh, Ben's watching. Producer Ben's watching. He said it's not sold out. The store. No, Ben, what it is on the website, it's on twice. And one of them on the website sells sold out and the other one doesn't say sold out. That's what it is. Uh, but thank you for letting me know. Uh, though Daniel's got fans recipe, right? Let me look. Bob Geldof, here we go. Um, so it's at the Old Vic Theatre in London and it's called Live Aid. Do you remember Live Aid? I, my personal trainer came down. I said, do you remember Live Aid? He went, what are you talking about? I said, Bob Geldof did it. He went, who's Bob Geldof? I said, Boom Tam Rats. He went, who's Boom Tam Rats? Um, and so I'm going to the press night of it at the Old Vic Theatre in London on the 13th of February. Oh, it's only for one day. How can it be? <laughs> oh, no. No, no, no. Hang on. I'm going to the press night. Uh, it's on. F oh, it's on for a couple of months. And it's at the Live Aid, the musical. And I'm going to press night. Ooh. So there you go. Uh, so Francesca's doing fine, thanks, Jude. We'll be going to that. I sent her, last week she was really miserable, so I sent her 100 daffodils. You know, there's a Marks and Spencer thing. And she said it cheered, her whole house is full of daffodils. Old maid, new, does gold work. Exactly, Roxana. Blind me. I'm not that far behind with my messages. Looking forward to Italian veggie recipes. Uh, yeah, they will. Yeah, because they're all my favourite things that she cooks. And they're so simple. Did Francesca have a better week? Yes, she did. Thank you, Attractor. Uh, now, she only does one aubergine. She only does one aubergine. Parmigiano. Parmesan now. It's delicious, right? Susan said, hello, sorry I'm late. So excited for next Monday. Fran says, need to make a list for a colleague who's a crafter. Did Vicky show you the car, how to cast from the mobile device TV? Yeah, 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 yeah. But we'll, we'll, what we'll do is Daniel's going to make, make me make a film for it next time I'm in the studios. All items you download TV will expire to be removed due to licensing rules. Oh, I didn't know that. Uh, Paula's, I'm in Ireland, so couldn't buy this one. Can I buy it? Yes, you can buy from me, Paula. And you should have been able to buy... From there, but there was some, somebody hadn't switched off the cannot ship abroad with that. So when it's free PMP, it automatically doesn't ship abroad. Somebody didn't turn that off. So it meant everybody in Southern Ireland and Australia and everywhere were having all sorts of issues. Um, but it's sorted. Uh, you can either, Paula, if you want split pay, ring the call center at Sewing Street, or you can buy it from us uh, directly from us. Friend, friends, friends threadsoflife.tv you can buy it there but if you want split pay go to, to Science Street uh, I'd like to see sock knitting from beginning to finish there you go Jacqueline we'll sort that out Janie Crowfoot I don't know Janie Crowfoot Anne I've met her once um, so I don't really know her but we could ask her but she's always so busy in fact her name was mentioned hasn't she just launched a jigsaw she might have just launched a jigsaw uh, the Dorset button lady would be a nice watch a long way for her to come though to Warrington that's all unless oh well Unless we go to Dorset, where's Dorset near? Is that Bournemouth? We'll have to find out if there's... A... You see, what it is, is we have to put... People... I've got, look, I bought this when we first started. When we first started, I bought this. Right? And I bought all these dotties here, all these coloured dots. And I was going to clump, clump them on it, and I haven't got round to it yet. Because I can't find out the places on the map. Uh, Dr. Mike's definitely going to be there. So his advert, he won't, he hasn't got a show on Monday. There's no, there, were, uh, there will no, be no show of his um, uploaded, downloaded, dropped. He, he's just got his advert asking you to send in questions on Monday. So he hasn't got a show. We're filming with him. I think it's in March. Yeah, March. Um, I love the Winnick Mum's Sit Knitted Socks. Well, as she's local, I'm hoping she'll come in. Will you be having cross-stitching on your shows? Right, Nicola, not so far. Uh, but, oh, i tell you who, who will be coming in. 
it's not cross stitching though it was she was lovely she was on last week what was she called oh my brain what is wrong i hate getting old like this um Oh, come on, John. She was adorable. The, le the lady we had on last week from Wigan. Well, she's from Manchester and her dad lives in Warrington. And she did like woolen. Um, oh, it was gorgeous. Do you know what? My brain. So she'll be on. Uh, we will be going to Jane Greenoff's when we do, when we film where she lives in um, the Cotswolds. Uh, Margaret says, I'd learn, like how to crochet if possible. Do you know what? We should try and get Wendy Orlando because she's good at teaching that, isn't she? Uh, Hayley says tea towels. Christine said all the ideas are brilliant for Third Life Goods, but I meant I'm glad we're getting a pen for Stuart Hillard birthday. Yeah, but you said pen and badge. You won't get a badge for Stuart Hillard's birthday. There'll be no badge. You either get a pen or a badge, so there won't be a badge for his birthday. How about Threads of Life dartboard for those stressful makes? Oh, that's a good one. Or a brick one. Do you remember years ago, they used to do those like plastic bricks or foam bricks you could throw at a wall to get relieve the stress. Uh, I've been signed up on Split. I put the code in free PP. Oh, you, you won't be charged at night. No, no. When it goes through Lorraine tonight, that will be taken off. And if it's not, ring the call centre. Uh, and, and if you have been charged, just ring the call centre and they'll take it off for you. Uh, I signed up this morning. I was in two minds. I don't watch much daytime television unless I'm unwell. But as we can download things to watch later, I had a change of heart. Oh, I've lost my sewing mojo, but bought an additional machine at the Arding Lie quilt show. Blimey. Need to, yeah, you need to get it back. Husband's looking forward to hearing about your earlier career. Be, yeah, lovely. Uh, oh, Sue says yes to a psychic. Sue, another Sue says yes to a psychic. Uh, now, Jacqueline, funny you should say that. Crystals, we're doing a Crystals show, filming it next month. Yeah, we're filming a Crystals show next month. Uh, sorry, here you go. Lynn says no to the psychic. Uh, Rachel would like a mouse mat. Do people still use mouse mats? Oh, I suppose they do. I've got this weird one that you rest your, rest your um, thingy on. Uh, oh, Jacqueline says yes to the side. The thing is, the thing that's about this is if you don't like psychics, then you'll be given the choice. It's not like you're sitting watching the show and suddenly a psychic's there and you think, I don't want to watch this. You don't have to click on that. If you don't want to see the psychic, you don't click on it. If you don't want to see baking, then you just don't click on it. Uh, old yarn lane programs have some good crochet demonstrations. Hey, there's Jan. There's Jan. Working today, so I'm just able to. I was just saying, Jan, that my blood tests from Christmas time were all fine. I told you that last week. My blood tests from last week are all good this week, so everything's good. I just said, how you worried? Um, surprised there were complaints from the psychic. Yes, I think it's because she kept going off kilter, and she was only supposed to be general, and then she'd go very deep into something. Which and just says yes, psychic. Julie says no to the psychic. How about Nikki Franklin from The Stitchery? I've got no idea who she is, Paula. So you'll have to send me... She's not on our show, is she? You'll have to send me her details. Um, you can send your messages to either studio at threadsoflife.tv or hello at threadsoflife.tv. June likes the idea of a notebook. Threads of Life calendar said that, didn't I? Colleen says no to a psychic. Oh, here we go. Pauline says navy lightweight scarf with the Threads of Life logo in gold printed on it how much would that cost pauline we'd have to look at that one uh i like derek but i love you oh thank you jacqueline fiona says no to psychic coasters oh yet yeah, now i had look when we had the john scott show last time oh, look these are the ones we had made we had glass ones made we had uh these ones don't we call it for mica is it for mica and we had key rings made last time I don't think we didn't go into production with them, but they were just some of the samples. We had tea towels as well, remember? Uh, Susan would like to see a psychic. My aunt was psychic to the stars. Oh, was she Susan? Did I go and see her? Coaster to go with the mug, yeah. Oh, yes. So we'd have to make sure the coaster was big enough to put the mug on, wouldn't we? Because the mug's quite a chunky one. I'm so looking forward to this new channel. Great shows, great people. It's a platform. We have to call it a platform, Dave, to be precise. Uh, Kim Sulman says clothes on or off. Mm -hmm. Oh, what, with the doctor, you mean? Uh, oh, on the calendar shoot, on the calendar shoot. Uh, Daniel sounds very clever. He's very, he is very clever and he's very, very, very precise. And not demanding is not the word. You know somebody who wants to get everything, like me, but I do it in a roundabout way. He's very, very, you've got to do this and you've got to do this and you have to do it like this and you do it like that. Which means you get a, you will get a brilliant website. I think we should have a Vicky Carroll birthday badge on Sewing Street. Uh, she's never on, she won't do a birthday show normally, will she? Uh, if Julie can do cooking, 
with Francesca. Now, we've got a story here. So Julie sent some of her gluten-free brownies to Francesca to cheer her up because she knew she was miserable. Pete, Francesca's husband, took one bite and went, I'm going to marry Julie. So we thought it was ever so funny. Anyway, Julie told... No, Francesca told Julie and Julie told Mike. And Mike went, oh, I quite fancy living with Francesca for a few weeks in London. Beautiful Italian food, nice big house. So they're going to do a wife swap. Are you going to visit Ali's ponies? It depends. It dep depends how many people we can get in that area all together. Also, I didn't, didn't like it in this card. I loved Ali and, and um, Marina, obviously, but didn't like this card. I love the thought of getting a needle minder or a pin badge. Thank you. Julie says, Im blimey. I said, Imi throat. I think I'm way behind with my messages. I did to get a move on. If you get to Janet Clare, pop in for coffee. I'm across the road from that. Oh, you can come in, Julie. Um, I've heard of Botox for migraines. Oh, crikey. I'm way behind with my messages. Signed up via your website. Thank you, Lisa. Claire said, is the Live Aid a musical? Yes. It's a musical, look. Look. It's at the Old Vic. But I got invited by Bob Geldof to go to the press night, which is nice. All the famous Vanessa Belts will be there, won't you? Uh, John, we are trying to remember who's celeb you're talking on the live feed, advertising your celebrity friends chat. And oh, that's Julie Peasgood. Julie Peasgood, that is. Uh, lovely news about Francesca. Still thinking of her. Thank you, Sue. Carolyn says, I love Bob Geldof. Boomtown Rats was my first. Well, Francesca's husband is a Boomtown Rat. He's Pete Briquette from the Boomtown Rats. Uh, my friend is in the Live Aid show, says Angela. Oh, well, I'll be seeing her on the on Fe was, Did I say February the 13th? Jacqueline says, I ran in Live Aid in Glasgow. Still have my threadbare T-shirt. My word. Um, they end... Uh, Bob Geldof. Now, did he write that one or did Pete write that one? Because in Pete's downstairs toilet... Is the gold disc or the platinum disc for that? Will you go to Kiss Me Kate in the summer? Where's that on? We will do it. We will do it. We're going to go. Well, you see, did you watch that? I'm going off kilter again. Look at the time. I've been waddling on too long. Um, did you see that big night at the musicals? They had, well, I mean, what's her name there? Nicole, and she didn't even sing. She just came on and talked with a glittery microphone, didn't she? She didn't sing. Um, Francesca and I are going to go and see one singular sensation. What's that one? Uh, chorus line. And then I watched it last night on there and I thought, oh, I don't like this very much. And there was another one. We're going to go and see I Carried a Cake Across New York or something like that. Uh, I forgot to say thank you for the Richmond Sausages suggesting. Oh, that's good, Fran. Paula says thanks. Sue says I'd love to have a, a book. I'd love to be able to drape fabric. Oh, we haven't done that yet, but maybe we'll do that. Will split pay be off tonight or is it only day you drink it? Today? No. Uh, uh, Gillian, the split pay will always be on at Sewing Street. It was just the free P and P today. So if you buy it next week, you'll most probably be charged the P and P next week. Even though there's no actual physical thing coming through the door, their um, excuse me, their administration things have to take the three ninety five. Um, no, 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 no. We didn't say it was only for today. Vic shouldn't have said that. If she did, that's wrong. It's not what the split pay wasn't today. It was the free P&P &P that was for today. Does the elf near live Janet Clare? Yes, exactly. So that would be two, you see. Jacqueline says, little, a little house of Victoria. Thank you, Jacqueline. That's true. Uh, Royal School of Needlework. That's Helen McCook. Yeah, but she's in Stafford. She's in Staffordshire. Uh, Rebecca Reed knows her. Crochet is fabulous. Yeah, yeah. No, I know she knows her, Anne, but I don't know her well enough to go. Can I come and interview for nothing? Do you know what I mean? She's always really busy. Uh, Roxanne says, Helen McCook. Hi, John. Any bobbin lace making? Not as yet, but we can look into it. Daniel will write it down. How about the Jukey Boys? Yet? Yeah, so when we go to Essex, we're going to go to the Jukey Boys. How about John Scott Wheelie case like the ones on House of Games? Don't know what that is, Nicola. But again, that would be going up against, if that's a big carry bag, that would be going up against Sewing Street, you see. Uh, type in. No, Pintin. Pintin. Not type in. Pintin. June says yes to Psychic, but they must be good. Fran says, I don't mind Psychic, but they cause so much conflict. Exactly. Uh, Princess says yes to Psychic. So machine questions. Yes, Patricia. But well, the thing about that is we'd have to get your questions in beforehand and then we'd have to record the show because obviously it's not live. So you can't message in like this when the guests are there. Uh, very pleased to hear that, says Jan. Brian says, as the 780 is no longer on sale, I've got the Brother VQ2 sewing machine this week. Has an 11 inch throat. Oh, very nice. How much was that? Uh, Sue says, how about Low and Jeff? Yeah, I've asked Low. I've asked Low. But we'll have to, when, when we go to Torquay, you see, it's when we go to Torquay. Is that where she's based? Um, 
Derek Akora. No, I don't he's dead, isn't he? Isn't Derek Akora dead? Uh, Luther, oh, right, very quickly, because look, I've kept you for 53 minutes already. So, um, last week, I was doing my personal training with uh, Alex, and uh, he said, oh, and Luther always comes to see him. Luther hates everybody, right? Apart from me, loves me, but he hates everyone, won't come and sit with anyone. Every time Alex, the personal trainer, comes around, Luther comes, like, sauntering into the garage, going, oh, hello, hello, I'm here, I'm here. Anyway, Alex said, oh, something's wrong with his face. I went, oh, yeah, he's got a bit of a bump on his cheek. Anyway, the bump got bigger and bigger and bigger. So I took him to the vet last week and it's another fight. He's been fighting. He'd been bitten on the cheek here. Well, actually, it was really near his eye. So the vet gave him two jabs and said, that, that'll sort it. Don't bother buying the cream this time. You'll be fine. Anyway, it kept getting, and, and I was a bit, he wasn't in pain because he was purring and he was eating and everything like that. And then, not yesterday, the day before, I'd just woken up to go to work and Lu he was fast asleep on, and he takes up half the bed now, Luther. And he suddenly went, oh! and jumped off the bed and ran out. And I thought, oh, rolled over, the sheet covered in blood and pus and everything like that. So now he's like a different, I, I, when I got home, from, I, he, I couldn't find him that morning. When I got home, went to the vet, so they said, just do it in salty water. So I, so he let me bathe his whole face. There was blood everywhere, all down his cheek and everything. Different cat now. He's like, so happy and everything. So they're fine. And ghosts downstairs on the sofa waiting for his cuddles. Uh, how about a where are they now for the great British saying be contestants? Oh, that's a good one, Lisa. Sharon, so, sorry. Yeah, I know, Sharon. I'm sorry I've kept you for an hour. Uh, well done. Thank you, says. Andrea says, needle minder on a notepad. Uh, yes to a psychic, says Lynn. He is a perfect. Oh, we'll get back to Daniel now. He is a perfectionist. Is he a Virgo? Oh, I don't know. When's his birthday? I went to... Hang on. No, he can't... It's for, oh, no, he might be. Because we went to his 30th birthday when he lived in Gibraltar and it was boiling hot. So, yeah, it could be. could be. Uh, right. Van said there's a quilting shirt, Doncaster race course. That's nice. Uh, table runner, Nolan. She's put laughing faces. Look out for Joel Montague. He's simply come out of Hamilton to do the live show, but he's going back to... I've never, ever... Oh, is he... He's your friend in the what's it? I've never, ever, ever been... Hamilton's just never appealed to me. Isn't it weird? I couldn't believe Nicole didn't sing. I oh, know, she was all made up, had the black outfit on. I thought, and then when she walked off, I thought, oh, she'll come back at the end and sing. She'll be the star. So they had that rubbish grease medley, didn't they? I've got to go. So have I, Jane. So have I. I've got to go. Thank you for your lovely message, Roxana. Thank you. Uh, Shirley, got to go put the roasties on. Take care, everyone. Oh, you'll be eating late if you're only just putting your roasties on now. Um, if you're going to Torquay, that's not far from Plymouth, Cornwall. Well, no, exactly. So we'd have to put it, do a whole lot of people together. Uh, Neve said the seven, eight. Uh, oh, no, the uh, brother is a fabulous machine. Uh, Sue says Patrick, the Shetland pony, does visit hospital to cheer people up in Torquay. Yeah, I don't think I'll be interviewing him. Um, anyway, right, I should go. I should go. I should go. Let's very quickly. Oh, he's a Leo. He's a Leo. Not a Virgo. So next to, it's next to, isn't it? Next to. Right. Okay, very quickly. What have I done with it now? I had it here a minute ago, ready to, because I was writing on it. Oh, here you go, here you go. Right, this week, this week on um, Sewing Street, Tuesday. I'm not, I've got tomorrow off. Uh, today was supposed to be a day off as well. Um, uh, Tuesday, I've got Maria Maidman, the old maid new, and Stuart's on. Wednesday, now I'm not supposed to tell you this, but I've got clearance on on Wednesday. And Kat's producing me, Kat's producing. Thursday, we've got Claire Donnelly from Native Lighting and Sarah Patterson. Now, she was on that potent craft today, wasn't she? Don't know how that's happened. Friday, Cassandra Connolly's on and Susie Duncan. And then I'm off next weekend because I have to drive to Warrington to do the launch, don't I? Uh, anyway, look, let's just do these... Uh, Thanks, John. Leo, probably the customer of Virgo. Depends where his planets are in alignment. Brent says goodbye. Sue said goodbye. Lynn said thank you, John. Susan said thanks for a lovely chat. Off to make vegan cauliflower cheese. Ooh, you can use that really strong. Because we had vegan Dauphinois potatoes at uh, Christmas and they were delicious. Emily says bye-bye. Kim says we must discuss our rotors as we all seem to work in the same days. Oh, sorry, Kim. Jenny says thanks, John. See you on Sewing Street. Jacqueline says have a good week. Won't be able to watch till Thursday. Carolyn says bye, John. Have a great week. Yes, I've got to go. Look, 57 minutes I've been waffling away. Uh, Princess says thank you for another wonderful chat. My pleasure. Claire says thanks for the chat. Sue says bye, everyone. Have a good week. Um, I'm making, what am I going to make for my tea today? I'm doing roasted vegetables. I think um, I, I might make, I might make vegan Dauphinoise potatoes. I can't remember if I've got any vegan cheese though. Uh, 
Sue says, bye, have a nice day off tomorrow. Well, I've got to go and try and sort my car out now, haven't I? Uh, Sue says, thanks, always a pleasure. Van says, take care. Vegan Sunday lunch, bye. All. June says, bye. Uh, love you, uh, says Christine. Margaret says, fab day. Thank you. Jacqueline says, thank you. Patricia says, thank you. Molly says, I've logged on for the first time today and loved it. Thank you, Molly. Every Sunday, four o'clock. Jenny Parello, love every minute. Anne Hamilton, best wishes to Fran. See you Tuesday. I'm going, I'm going. <coughs> take care. Thanks for ever so much for... And it, now, if you, anybody who hasn't bought their subscription, they want to, go to the Sewing Street website tonight... Uh, and get it before midnight. And I'll check there's enough there for you. But remember, there's t it's on the website twice. It's not the sold out one. It's the other one. Uh, this time next week, we'll be counting down. Yeah, this time next week, Daniel will be busy trying to get all the emails ready to go out, won't he? Uh, Carol, uh, my pleasure. I'm going now. Take care. Lots of love. Bye.